Good morning, Elmira Baptist Church. We have three updates this week, and I'm going to call these updates our Seeking the Lord for Renewal Updates. Thank you for joining me today. It's Tuesday, January 26th, 2021. A.W. Tozer said this about revival. Have you noticed how much praying for revival has been going on of late and how little revival has resulted? I believe the problem is that we have been trying to substitute praying for obeying, and it simply will not work. To pray for revival, while ignoring the plain precept laid down in Scripture, is to waste a lot of words and get nothing for our trouble. Prayer will become effective when we stop using it as a substitute for obedience. Notice again, prayer will become effective when we stop using it as a substitute for obedience. Well, if you've missed the sermons by Tim Schmidt Sunday and then again last night, let me encourage you to find those and listen to them or watch them. They're on Sermon Audio, sermonaudio.com. Search for Elmira Baptist Church CA. You'll find our piece of that website and then Tim Schmidt's sermons will be on there. I've been blessed. I know that you will be blessed as well. And here we are in the middle of a pandemic, and yet we are consistently seeing visitors come on Sundays. And I praise the Lord for that. God is on the move, and we want to be a part of that. We want to be moving forward right beside Him. Now, uh, tonight, tomorrow, uh, Thursday night, Friday night, Megan is going to teach a class for our four-year-olds through fourth grade. So if you have elementary age children and they would like to be a part of that class, have them join us in the sanctuary. We'll go through the song service, and then at the end of the song service, we will dismiss them to the ministry room where they will have a class. And they had a, had a great time last night. I'm sure they'll have a great time again tonight. Now, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, we're going to do things a little different. We're not going to have our time of, of prayer, but I want you to take time to pray. Maybe before the service, maybe after the service, Take time to pray. There will be prayer sheets emailed to you. There will be prayer sheets available in the foyer that you can pick up. And I know that some of you look forward to our ladies visiting you uh, each Sunday, excuse me, uh, Thursdays and Saturdays and, and delivering those. So those will be available this week. Pray through those prayer sheets. If you have ever given a request to that prayer sheet, it's incumbent upon you. You have a responsibility to pray for others prayer requests on that sheet as if they were your own. So take time to pray. Now, don't forget the schedule. Uh, 7 o'clock Tuesday, 7 o'clock Wednesday, 7 o'clock Thursday, 7 o'clock Friday, we will meet for our Renew Us Week meetings. We do have a nursery, and again, we have that class for the little ones. So uh, please, please come. Take some time out of your busy schedule to come. Our verses for meditation this morning are from Psalm 139, Psalm 139. I was thinking about what's been preached this week, and this is my heart's cry to the Lord. This is what I prayed this morning as I met with God. Search me, O God. This is Psalm 139, verse 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Search me, know my heart. Try me, know my thoughts. See if there be any wicked way in me. Now the beginning of this psalm begins with, O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. It talks about all the things God already knows about us. So when we pray this, we have to be aware. We're praying to the God who sees right through me and right into my heart. He sees past the mask I may put on, sees right into my mind. Am I willing to let him search me? Am I willing to let him point out sin? And when God says, okay, that's it right there, Am I willing to say, God, you're right. I've been wrong. Forgive me. I am so grateful for the free and 
infinite forgiveness that is in Christ Jesus. If we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive us our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Nothing to do. Don't have to make up for it. We do have to be willing to be searched. We do have to be willing to say, God, try me, know my ways. And when he puts his finger on something, we have to be willing to say, God, forgive me. Don't let pride, don't let self-sufficiency and self-confidence keep you from experiencing a genuine meeting with God this week. He wants to meet with us. It starts by asking him to search us with that brokenness that says, God, I've never been good enough. It's always been Jesus Christ. Now, do that work again in me. I'm so excited for Renew Us Week. I've been blessed already. I know so many others have been blessed already. And I want you to experience it too. If you've not caught one of the live streams on Facebook or Sermon Audio yet, please, please, 7 o'clock tonight or 7 o'clock tomorrow night, join us. Set aside some time. Join us. There'll be some singing. Uh, there, there will be um, another testimony tonight. And then I look forward to hearing from God's word again. See you tonight, 7 o'clock.